he he is my um trap starting from the top. So it's like that. I've got a friend, um he work at a sh uh shower joint and he made this for me. It's out of perspex. And uh, I'll give you the size. Let's see. That's right there. Just say it's 46 centimeter by by 39 centimeter. And by is fourteen centimeter. Yeah, um, this is my mallet trap, and um, when I get into the water, I'll show you how it works. This one is special made. It will never break. A few years ago, I made um, one just out of perspex and silicon. After a while, it will put fall apart. But this one, I got it made look special, look a shower screen. See, it's all pop river, nice and strong. I've been using this for three years now. This one, and. It's like a uh, brand new, yeah. everlasting this one. And see on this side, I made a um, door, like a, a door with hinges, two side with the lock, hinge and lock. And when the mullet go inside, instead of pulling it out here, it's, it, it's a bit hard because it, I experienced it for years. It takes forever for the mullet to come out with this hole. So I made, I, I invented this myself, and I made this door opening. So that once the mullet's in there with the water, you, you put this in a bucket, look the top of it. You open this up on the side. You have it on the side like this. And then you pour more in. That way it come, it come out nice and easy. See, that's the door opening. And then once you finish, you just close it up. It's a bit rusted the lock because it's been three years now in salt water using it. Anyway, it's like that. And make sure at the other side of the door you make a little hinge like this. And see if you can see. I'll lift it up. See this little hinge? Little hinge thing? You tie a, on an 80 pound to a 100 pound line on it. Don't tie a string because the, the fish will see it and it'll, it'll hard to go in. Get a 80 pound or a hundred pound fishing line, tie it up, and on the other end of the fishing line, just get a stick like this. If you got something better, tie it up, and when the trap go in the water, this stick, you poke in the ground, like deep, you poke all, all the way to here. From there to there, to hold your trap back. From the wave and all that, so it doesn't take your trap and you'll lose it. This will hold it back for you. Anyway, that's all I'm going to show you about the trap. And when I... Uh, later on um, this afternoon, when I go out under the water, I'll show you how to catch them. Yeah, 
here I am. Just arrived at the, where, where the spot where I trap uh, the mullet. I want to get it prepared and show you. So all you need is just any old bread. If you got new bread, use it. Doesn't matter. I've got old bread. So just break it up into little pieces and just put it in the trap like this. Break it up. Yeah, just break it, not fine, but not too fine. Like this. Something like that. But normally I'll break about two to uh, three low of bread. Um, not low, what do you call it? Bread roll. Three, three to two bread roll. Something like that. It's uh, pretty cold today. Yeah. I'll get it ready. Then when I put down the trap, I'll show you how far to put the trap down. Just give it a bit more. That will do. And just spread it out like that. Spread it out. That's done. Now, all we put on the sweater, this is my sweater, to go in the water. Because um, in, in, the, in the winter, when you go from all the way, the water's like ice. It's cold like ice. So I'll put on a sweater and so I don't get wet. go on it's, it's gonna be hard to do it with one hand and one hand on the camera because I'm I'm ordering the stabilizer and the tripod it's coming and my video is a bit shaky now because I've been holding in my the camera in my hand. All right, that's done. Yeah, here I am. I'm down at the water. So we put in the trap. I'm gonna do one hand, one hand holding the camera and one hand filming. So you go out the water and don't put it too deep. It's no good. Uh, the water will be around your kneecap a bit deeper then you push it down so you can sink like that then 
Just had to do one hand. Oh, I'll try. Alright. So the trap go in. And you see the stick just poke in the ground. Like so. You can see the trap in the water and just um let's see i'll do with one hand sorry about the shake break some bread i'll bring some bread in my hand and break that and i'll throw it in so to attract the mullet around to come around that now just wait probably half an hour and then I'll come back down then I'll film it I'm gonna stop it here and now I'm gonna go down and check check the trap and see if I'll get any I met a guy here Nick he wanna come fishing with me so Tonight, when I go, I'm gonna bring him, see if he's free. Then I'll, we'll go fishing together. Come down, look at my trap. There's a fair bit in there. See, you can see, there's a fair bit in there. That should be enough. I'll get up. That should be enough. Oh, it's hard to do with one hand. Sorry about the shake. I'll just kick it in with my foot. Can't move it. I'll tip out some water so it'll be lighter. I left in here for about 10 minutes only. That's it, that's what I got. And the mower. I have to stop it here because I need two hands to pour in the bucket. Yeah, so here I am. Just got up into the car, got changed everything, and I'll show you the result after 10 minutes of trapping. Oh, I threw all the little one away. I just got the good side one. Here it is. There's about five or so in there. That should be enough for one day for one person. And make sure. To keep it alive, you gotta run an air bubble. So this is what I run. I bought this on eBay. It's a solar, and you can charge it with power, or you can charge it by the sunlight. 